Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Wednesday, March the 14th. It's year two, it's week three in Lent, and week five in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 82, 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 1 to 13, and the Song of Simeon. Our help is in the name of God the Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. God stands in the divine assembly and gives judgment in the midst of the gods. Psalm 82. God stands in the divine assembly and gives judgment in the midst of the gods. How long will you judge unjustly and favor the cause of the wicked? Do justice for the weak and the orphan. Defend the afflicted and the needy. Rescue the weak and the poor and set them free from the hand of the wicked. Unperceiving, they grope in the darkness, and the order of the world is shaken. I have said you are gods, and all of you children of the Most High. And yet you shall die like mortals, you shall fall like any earthly ruler. Arise, O God, and judge the earth, for you rule all the nations. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now, and forever. Amen. God stands in the divine assembly and gives judgment in the midst of the gods. The lesson is from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 8, beginning at verse 1. Now concerning food sacrificed to idols, we know that all of us possesses knowledge, Knowledge puffs up, but love builds up. Anyone who claims to know something does not yet have the necessary knowledge, but anyone who loves God is known by God. Hence, as to the eating of food offered to idols, we know that no idol in the world really exists, and that there is no God but one. Indeed, even though there may be so-called gods in heaven or on earth, as in fact there are many gods and many lords. Yet for us there is one God, the Father, from whom all things and for whom we exist, and one Lord, Jesus Christ, through whom all are all things and through whom we exist. It is not everyone, however, who has this knowledge, since some have become so accustomed to idols until now. They still think of the food they eat as food offered to an idol, and their conscience being weak is defiled. Food will not bring us close to God. We are no worse off if we do not eat, and no better off if we do. But take care that this liberty of yours does not somehow become a stumbling block for the weak. For if others see you who possess knowledge, eating in the temple of an idol, might they not, since their conscience is weak, be encouraged to the point of eating food sacrificed to idols? So by your knowledge, those weak believers for whom Christ died are destroyed. But when you thus sin against members of your family and wound their conscience when it is weak, you sin against Christ. Therefore, if food is a cause of their failing, I will never eat meat so that I may not cause one of them to fall. Here ends the lesson.
Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And now, O tender God, let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared before the face of the nations to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and may the almighty and merciful God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, Bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen.